Olive is an ostrich. She lives with her family in the outback. But Olive is very different. Olive's dad loves to run. Olive isn't a fast runner. Olive's mum enjoys laying huge eggs. Hmm. Olive doesn't like the look of that at all. Olive's little brother pecks at the ground to find tasty roots to eat. Pecking at the ground makes Olive sneeze. But Olive has an incredible imagination. So while the rest of her family are running, pecking and laying eggs, Olive can be found imagining herself going on amazing adventures when she buries her head down, down, into the sand. Until she popped up somewhere new. It was very hot and she could see people in green shirts and red shorts running up and down, around and around. Gek, all this running's making me feel tired. Tired? exclaimed a man. He was wearing just one trainer and jogging on the spot. You haven't even moved yet. Chuckled another man. He was also wearing only one trainer. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I'm Olive. Hello, Olive. I'm Hayley and this is my brother, Gabby. I like your running kit, Olive. Thanks. I like yours too. But why are you both only wearing one trainer? Is that a new fashion? No, we've both lost a trainer. Yes, and we're not sure why, but only wearing one trainer makes us run in circles. And we have a marathon to run today. What's a marathon? It's a very long running race, over 26 miles. You really need two trainers oh. to run a marathon. Well, maybe you could each borrow one of my trainers, and then you'd both have two. Gabby and Haley helped Olive take off her trainers and put them on their own feet. But Olive's feet were much bigger, so Gabby and Haley now had one giant trainer and one normal-sized one. When they tried to run, they looked very silly. <laughs> oh dear, I don't think this is going to work. Gabby and Haley gave Olive back her trainers. OK, when did you last see your missing trainers? Well, we left them by our kit bags and lunch boxes just over there. Olive looked over and noticed something. In the dusty ground by the bags, she could see some paw prints. Strange. There are paw prints going everywhere, but they all seem to lead back to one of the bags. Olive was just about to look inside the bag when out popped a brown dog with a red collar. Okay, hello there. <laughs> this is our dog, Oscar. He likes running too. Oscar ran around and around. He sniffed Haley, Gabby and then Olive's trainers. And all of a sudden, he barked excitedly. Then grabbed one of Olive's trainers, pulled it right off her foot and ran away. Oh, no, naughty Oscar. Now you only have one trainer too. That means none of us can run the marathon. Hmm, a dog who likes trainers. Lots of missing trainers. I think I may have an idea. Follow that dog! They all chased after Oscar. They looked very silly running in one shoe, but they chased him up and down, around and around, over a small stream and behind some trees. Then Olive spied a big tree with a hole in the trunk. She looked inside and there was a huge pile of trainers. Aha! Oscar's been hiding trainers in here. We just need to find ours. But as Olive reached for the trainers, Oscar jumped in front of her and growled. Oh dear, I don't think Oscar will let us have them back. Trainers seem to be his favourite thing in the whole world. Well, he does like one thing better, sausages. And we have some left over in our lunch boxes. So Gabby and Haley took the sausages out and waved them at Oscar. He trotted away from the tree and started munching on the sausages. Olive took a chance and grabbed their three trainers. <laughs> Let's put these back on and get back to the marathon. So they all put their trainers on and ran over to the start of the marathon. Brilliant. We made it just in time. Thanks for your help, Olive. Are you going to run the marathon with us too? Only 26 and a bit miles. Oh, I think I've run nearly that far today just chasing Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> they all laughed. And as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Okay. Actually, I've been helping some marathon runners find their trainers. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs> <laughs>